Okay, we already have Richard Kerr here, so very excited to have him on with us today to teach us all about travel hacking and maximizing our points. Before we start, I'm going to do a little bit of an intro to TNN, so if you can go ahead and find the chat box and you could write in where you're calling in from, what number TNN event this is for you, and what level of travel hacker you are. Are you a complete beginner? Are you intermediate? Are you using points and miles for literally every single trip you've ever taken in the last 10 years? Let us know. And uh, that would just be great to see. That's a very subjective scale as well. So <laughs> everybody- exactly. <feel> <laughs> Let's see what you think you are. Um, my name is Erica and I help Nomadic Matt run his live community events arm, the Nomadic Network. We started this back in 2019 as a way to bring the community together so you can meet like-minded travelers and learn about resources that could have you traveling cheaper, better, longer, and more. Um, you know, Matt's motto. And then the pandemic hit and we had to pivot everything to virtual events, which actually was a blessing in disguise because we've gotten to have speakers come on and teach us about different ways of traveling better from all over the world and reach people, you community members that are living all over the world. Um, a few things to keep in mind today. Uh, you can definitely turn your camera on. Like Richard said, we love seeing your faces. Um, you will be muted. We have over 100 people in the community on here today. So that's way too many people to unmute yourself. If you do have a question, feel free to use the chat to write your question in for Richard. I'll be monitoring those throughout his talk and then asking them at in the second half of this session. Um, also feel free to share your relevant experiences and just connect. This is a community event. Think of it like whispering um, at a live event. And uh, I'm sure a, quite a few of you are travel hackers yourself. So feel free to like give your suggestions also. Um, the speakers, all of our speakers, including Richard, are doing this out of the kindness of their heart and their passion for sharing their knowledge with you. So we are very grateful and we encourage you to connect with Richard um, and feel free to connect with him, follow him, ask him questions later. I'm sure he'll, he'd be happy to answer them. He's a travel hacker, which literally means he loves telling people how to travel better more and for less money. So <laughs> I'm sure he's ready to help. Uh, and then we're here to learn, satiate your wanderlust and have fun. Uh, just as a reminder at nomadicmat.com slash nomadic dash mat dash plus, you can get all of our replay, replays past, present and future. So if you'd like to join up for our join our membership network you can go ahead and do that and also we'd love for you to follow us on instagram um, at the dot nomadic dot network um all right richard is somebody who i met through the travel hacking community um back at an ftu a frequent traveler university conference years ago and i'm so excited he's just taken on a huge position at a new company that he's going to tell us about today um but he is one of the travel hacking gurus that like matt looks up to that we all just look up to in the travel right. hacking community as somebody that knows a lot about travel hacking. So we're really excited to have him here today. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us and our community. And we cannot wait to learn from you. I'm taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what an intro. Uh, a pleasure to be here. Over 125 people. That's awesome. And you had some people just look in the comments real quick. They're like, this is their 100th TNN event. I guess you guys are doing a knockout job. <laughs> yeah, we've done over 250 since the pandemic. That is awesome. Hey, everybody, it is a pleasure to be here. We're going to talk about a lot of things today. But what my goal today is, is to make the mundane exciting. All of us have mundane things that we have to do, specifically mundane things we have to buy. And I think that should be exciting. So this is um, much less, how do you earn a Delta Sky Mile and redeem it for a free flight? Although we can talk about that if you want to at the end. And this is all about how do you maximize everyday purchases 
And then I can talk about the uh, really new exciting opportunity that I have here in New York City. So a lot of you popped uh, out that you're in New York City. So uh, I am here this week in our office at uh, Built Rewards. We'll talk about, and uh, Erica, if it's cool with you, I'll just go right into the presentation and we'll we'll get her, get her going. Um, where's my screen share button go? Oh, there it is. Cool. Let's go right into it here. Everybody good? Erica, give me a thumbs up. You've got these lovely two logos. Everybody, earn points, miles, and cash on the necessary. And you're thinking, what in the world? That's not going to be exciting. I guarantee you today, you're all going to take notes. So everybody get your pencil and paper. You're going to want to write a lot of these things down, a lot of the programs and apps that I have going. And uh, you're going to want to play with this afterwards. I'm going to give you homework. I'm sorry, this part of the TNN uh, motto right there, because everybody gets homework coming out of my presentations. Um, but it's all going to be fun and interesting. What I want to do first, really, is just tell you a little bit about me and maybe why you should or should not listen to me <laughs> and who I am. I'm a Georgia boy, born and raised just south of Atlanta, Georgia, and actually still live back down there now. Um, I got an international business degree from the Georgia College, and uh, right after college, took off for the U.S. Navy. Uh, so I left Georgia for 10 years all around the world. I did go to high school in Manchester, England. I was on that beautiful submarine you see down there in the bottom right, the USS Kentucky, the thoroughbred of the fleet for three years underwater. I highly suggest everybody do that experience once in a while if you have the chance. Sadly, you cannot redeem points and miles for a submarine ride. You got to go visit your local recruiting station to make that happen. Uh, I did a uh, Marine One up in D.C., which was cool aviation, lived in Japan for three years. And that's really where my love of points, miles and loyalty programs took off. It was actually out of necessity. I could not afford to fly home and see my family after being deployed for a year. My wife and I dropped about three grand from our first duty station in Seattle to fly home to Atlanta uh, for round trip economy tickets on December 23rd one year after being told on December 22nd we could go home. And I thought, you know what, there's got to be a better way to do this than give an airline three grand for economy tickets, found points and miles. And from there, it took off. I've uh, been in about 10 years now. And uh, pretty much, uh, Eric, I don't know if there's a certification or degree that somebody can bestow upon you, but I am a nerd in the loyalty and points world. Just uh, finished up over two years uh, full time at the points guy after actually working for Brian Kelly over there for six years as a freelance writer and then full time for two years to join this amazing opportunity we'll have about uh, we'll talk about later today called uh, built rewards. So based on that, you can decide, ladies and gentlemen, whether I should listen to this guy or not, but I hope you do <laughs> want to listen to the things that I have to say today. So going right into it today, apps to utilize for points and savings again. The mundane in your life that you maybe haven't looked at, how should I be getting as many points, miles, cash back as possible for all the things that I have to do on a daily basis? And then we're going to end up with what is many of your largest expenses in your household today. I'm going to go through a lot of apps, but this is a real screenshot of my iPhone as of this morning that shows 12 different apps that I keep on there simply to earn what I call cash back. However, this is also points and miles as well as cash back. I have a game I play with myself every single month and it's called, what can I buy and never pay full price? That means how do I go to a home improvement store, home in Lowe's or Home Depot in Lowe's and not pay full price? Uh, if you follow me on social, whatever, or you've seen Matt's questions, uh, I have a truck down in Georgia. I don't like paying full price for gas. How can I never pay full price for gas? How can I not pay full price uh, for insurance? How can I not pay full price for taxes, groceries, dining? It doesn't matter. And each one of these apps is something that I use on a monthly basis to help me go through these. So everybody screenshot, take them down. Hope that you download each one of these and take a look at them. We're going to go through a, a few of these uh, in specific uh, so to show how you can use them. Bumped and pay. You go back, you see bumped is a little blue icon down there. Pay, P-E-I is how that's pronounced. I really like these for a couple of reasons. One, they're really innovative. Let's talk about bumped. It's not cash back. It's not points or it's miles. It's stock. It is earning stock in companies that you shop at. The way that bumped works is you link your credit card, debit card to the app. You select uh, a different stores that you shop at in different categories. So, hey, which grocery store do I shop at the most? And when you use that linked credit card to bump, you actually earn a percentage of your purchase back in stock in that company. You'll actually open up a brokerage account through bump. They'll verify your identification, uh, identity. And then every time you shop at a Target, a Kroger, you pay your cell phone bill at an AT&T, you will earn stock <laughs> in these companies for nothing. Um, and it's a wonderful and fantastic program. 
I can tell you my portfolio is over $200 now in like Kroger stock just from buying groceries uh, every month. And it's really great. Pays the next app. I really like one to 10% cash back. And what I really like about this one is that it's merchants that are typically very hard to save at really popular stores, uh, like a 7-Eleven, a Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, uh, different fast foods. And then uh, Target is actually on there as well. And the really cool thing about pay on top of this cash back that you earn again by linking your credit card to this is that they give loyalty bonuses. And we all like loyalty here at the TNN um, and in, in my world. So say if you shop at Target five times in a month, they're going to give you an additional 5% bonus or something like that. But it's literally link your cards to these programs, set it and forget it. In a bumps case, you have my screenshot here, $212 in Kroger stock just from shopping groceries, right? I mean, just by linking a card and doing that. And this fluctuates every day based on the market, but average returns over 40 years, you see the market 8%. Why in the world are you all not earning stock on your everyday purchases? It's really quite uh, fantastic. This is what it looks like. So these are the different places that you can earn stock in just by linking your credit card. Again, Home Depot, Chipotle, CVS, you go in. They're constantly making updates to this. I had an opportunity to talk to the founder. Uh, he's really responsive to people and users' feedback. So there's constantly something going on with Bump to make it better and better. I'm just telling you right now, if you didn't know that you could earn stock just by going grocery shopping, well, now you know. So please don't leave money on the table. Maximize the mundane. Anybody excited yet? You know, you could earn stock off of this. Cool. All right. And here we go. This is what pay looks like. So this is, uh, you know, linking my cards, getting cash back again. They do this in the form of points, but basically every point is worth one cent. Uh, and then you can redeem points uh, and then pay gamifies a little bit. So there might be like, hey, we have gift cards on sale. And instead of being worth one cent this month, they're worth 1.2 or 1.5 cents per month. But really, how much money can you save at Target? Well, I'm going to show you and pay is a big step of this. Um, and then you see before I was bald, my little lovely super cuts purchase down there on the bottom. Unfortunately, I no longer earn cash back because I got old and lost my hair in the pandemic. <laughs> but really cool programs to take a look at. Um, but those are just a couple of them. Don't worry, we're going to go through uh, some more of these. So apps you need to have again, I want to see those pencils running really fast, really quick. Rakuten is probably the most popular that you've all heard of. You can earn cash back or Amex membership rewards. It's popular because it's good. It always works. It's great technology. They have great bonuses and you can earn a membership reward points instead of just cash back. Kroger or whatever nationwide grocery store you shop at essentially has the same fuel points savings program. So the giants of the world, the shop rights of the world, the Albertsons of the world, the Harris Teeters Kroger, they all, it doesn't matter. Insert whatever grocery store you shop at here. You need to have the apps. You need to get these fuel points. Again, I don't like to pay full price for anything. I don't care what it is. You've already seen haircut groceries and now gas. I don't pay full price for that stuff. And it's fun. It's a game, right? Fetch. Go grocery shopping, scan your receipt in, and they will give you cash back based on the items that you have bought. Uh, it's really a good point. The, the vast majority of these apps work in one of just a couple of different ways. First, we've talked about is card linking. It has the technology to recognize when you link your physical credit card and then you go in the store and you shop. It'll say, hey, we recognize that you use that Visa card. Congrats, here's points or cash back. The second way that this works is that you will save your physical receipt from the grocery store or wherever you shop that's participating with these. And you'll just take a picture with your camera of the receipt and it has the technology to recognize, yep, you bought this participating item. Here's your cash back. And these are really great, right? Free beer, free wine, discounted spirits, right? If, if you're into the adult beverages, then this is how you can save money with an app like Fetch or Ibotta. Um, Ibotta, really great. You can actually link some of your grocery accounts to this. It's a grocery savings program, also works at Walmart, works at pharmacies, gives you offers on specific products. It says, hey, this uh, new beer that came out that's trying to get some advertising, you buy this, you show us the receipt, we'll give you the cash back and you get a free beer. Really cool. Something like that. I always pull up real quick when walking into Kroger. Hey, what heavily discounted beer can I get? And I'm actually show you here in a minute how to make a profit when buying some things off of this. All right. And then Dosh, really great. Really excited. Uh, the company I'm now working for built rewards. You might see us pop up on some of these apps. We'll talk all about it in just a little bit, but it's a card linked offer. gives you cash back. What's really great about Dosh is it works at merchants like Sam's where you might spend a lot of money at a wholesale club. And then finally, United Mileage Plus X. This awards you United Miles for a lot of different merchants, hundreds of different merchants essentially up to 5X United Miles per dollar. So if you go out to eat at chain restaurants, if you go shop at grocery stores, what you'll do is go in the United Mileage Plus X app, buy a gift card to that restaurant or store, you'll earn United Miles and then you use that gift card to pay for your purchase. So really cool technology, 
the cash back uh, screenshots I showed on my phone that had 12 apps. I have a whole other screen just for gas. I have a whole other different screen just for food that each have 12 to 15 different apps in it. And if you're thinking that's a whole lot of apps and it's crazy, it's fine. You don't have to be as crazy as I am. It's just, it's, it's more of a game for me. It's more of beating the system. It's more of showing, making the mundane fun. Like how much fun do you have going to the CVS to buy something that you know is overpriced? Well, I have a lot of fun because I'm going to use four or five different strategies to not even come close to paying full price for that. And then I'm going to unfortunately see them cut down an entire tree to give me the 18 foot long receipt for buying one item, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Right. So um, let's take a look at these. This is the Kroger app, something you need to be aware of here. You see that Forex fuel points. You do need to physically add these coupons to your account before you check out. And that's the way it works for any grocery store you shop at. Um, pretty much you got to add these before you check out. Make sure you do that. This is Dosh. Again, it's got a map that says, hey, shop at these places, earn this percentage of cash back just by linking your card. Really cool and easy. Set it and forget it. You don't have to keep up with anything. This is Rakuten, everybody should be very familiar with and sign up. I bet Erica or Matt even have referral links that get you bonuses when you sign up for these things. That's the other great part about these apps is there's typically a way to start off with cash in your pocket for doing nothing but signing up with a friend's uh, referral link. And then here we have Fetch. You see, hey, the, here's the participating product, scan the receipt, and we're going to give you um, cash back or in their case points. But it's like literally you see a uh, discount here on the hard seltzer. It's a great way to save money on things that are otherwise pretty difficult to save money on. I'm going really fast. Sorry, that's the way I roll is and gentlemen. That's why I told you, you have that pen and paper ready to go. So what we're going to move into here is now called stacking. So how do we use multiple things that we have in our wallet or in our phone to save significant amounts of money on the mundane? We're making the mundane exciting today and we haven't even gotten to the best part. So how do you use multiple techniques and apps to stack to have uh, really significant savings? Because if you're thinking like 3% back is not enough to motivate me, well, then let's talk about, you know, what maybe some things we can do. So let's take a Kroger again, replace Kroger with whatever grocery store you shop at. It doesn't matter. They all pretty much work the same. You take that Kroger app and you find the coupon for, I don't know, whatever um, thing that you want to buy there. There's a good chance that say like you're going to buy some iced tea. I don't know. Kroger has iced tea on sale this week. You go on the Kroger app and you have that coupon. You open up the Ibotta app and it's like, oh, hey, that same iced tea is on here as well. And I can save money with Ibotta. Cool. I go to the iced tea website. I find a coupon for a dollar off iced tea. Great. Now I'm making a profit. Oh, by the way, when I go to check out there, I'm going to earn some stock from Kroger by using Bumped. And then on top of that, I'm going to pay with my Amex gold card that gets 4X points at all grocery store purchases. And don't forget your Kroger fuel points at the end of the day that are going to help you save money on that. So we got Kroger, we got a bottle, we got a manufacturer coupon. You're now going to have stock in Kroger. You get 4X Amex points and you're going to earn fuel points. So six layers of savings in one transaction and walking up to the Kroger grocery store. If your head is going, this is too complicated and this guy's crazy, that's fine. But I know right now looking at your faces that there's 10 or 15 of you going, grocery shopping is going to be fun next time I go by taking notes and making this stuff happen. I mean, who knew that you could go and uh, earn stock? while saving a whole bunch of money. And this is what we call a, a stack for the really nerdy people out there. This is six levels. So this is a sex tuple stack to save on any mundane purchase. But wait, there's more. So you want to go and buy some clothes at whatever store, Rakuten, like we just talked about, you know, in pretty much every store that you're going to want to shop at, buy things at, even things like Sephora and Sex Fifth Avenue are on Rakuten. Then you have an American Express card and you can load offers onto those cards. Again, I highly recommend everybody here, Google Amex offers. If you're not familiar with what that is, there's wonderful pieces of content out there that will tell you all about it, how to save money at the stores you're shopping at anyways. And of course, you're going to earn membership rewards from American Express when you pay for that. So that's a very simple triple stack to make a mundane shirt, dress, shoe purchase, uh, rather exciting, get points, miles, and cash off of that. Target, hey, really difficult to shop there. We already talked about pay and how Target is on there. Uh, and on top of that, Target routinely shows up on bump. So you're going to be getting cash back and pay. You're going to be getting stock and bumped. Then you can get your credit card rewards for paying at Target. Um, Rakuten, maybe, maybe not. Um, but then the cartwheel offers in the Target app. Everybody download the Target app, add the cartwheel offers, some really good ones in there. I'll tell you a little funny thing that Target's doing right now. You need to be careful if you're shopping online or if you open the app in the store. Target is geofencing their stores. When you are in the app, the price, or when you're in the parking lot or in the store, the price in the app will change to match what it is in that local store. 
So if you want to buy something online and shop compare, you need to look at the Target app at home before going to the store. If you don't believe me, try it out. It's really quite, um, it's like impressive, but also upsetting at the same time <laughs> kind of deal. So that's why you want to make sure you use these stacking abilities to save at a Target, which is typically pretty hard to save money at. And then last, you've probably seen Matt if you follow him on social media, tag me all the time. He did his road trip, uh, I believe about a month ago, Erica, where he drove all around the U.S. and was constantly looking to, to save for gas. I use no less than 15 different apps and programs that are out there. And typically, I pay, on average, 1.9 cents per gallon when filling up my diesel truck. You can follow me on Instagram at Kerpoints. I always show my fill-ups and the different programs I use there uh, to literally stand at the pump and pay 25 cents to fill up a diesel truck. Um, thanks to all of these different fuel rewards and programs, but we can do a whole other talk on that, Erica, at another time. All right, I'm going to scroll through everybody's faces here and see who's glazed over and see who said what in the world. I should see some pins and uh, notes going off uh, pretty quickly there. Um, but what I want to talk about on top of that today is a really cool opportunity I'm at now and kind of the knowledge and experience I'm taking into this new program, which is for many of you earning points for the first time on your largest expense, which is what we call built rewards. So what we've done here is created a loyalty program where you can earn points on rent with no fees. You know, I would love to know how many folks are renting here. People that know people who are renting have rented in the past. I believe Erica is here in New York City with this paying rent to one of the companies. And if everybody has done this before, you know, if you want to take a credit card to go pay your rent, typically a 3% fee is added on top and it makes it really difficult to earn rewards because you're not going to earn basically 3% um, on your rent and it just makes it even more expensive. So we've been really excited. We'll go through the mechanics of the program really quick. Happy to take questions on this. Happy to take questions on making the mundane exciting. Or if you do want to talk about redeeming sky miles on Delta, we can do that as well. So throw your questions into the chat over to Erica. Built rewards. Um, So what we've done and basically two different ways that you can partner or participate with us. We've gone out to the largest landlords in the company, the people like the related, the Camdens, the Blackstones, and we've said, hey, Join us together. We're going to give you a loyalty program that incentivizes your tenants to pay rent on time, to sign leases, to renew leases. And in exchange, you're going to give them very valuable points that we call built points. So our points, you can redeem for travel. We have seven airline partners you can transfer points to, including American Airlines, also the world of Hyatt. Uh, When we launched a month ago, we were the only place you could transfer American Airline miles into. City last week announced that you can temporarily transfer city points over to American, but that ends in November, leaving us the only place you can easily earn American points. Uh, we have six other airline partners. You can redeem for fitness classes like Soul Cycle, Rumble, Boxing, or Y7. We have a curated uh, collection of home decor we call the Built Collection. But ultimately, what we're most excited about here is creating the next generation of American homeowners. You can use Built Points to cover the down payment on a future home purchase. Points will be worth up to 1.5 cents each, and we'll kind of talk about that journey as well. It was a three-year process for our founder to go get um, regulatory approval for people to be able to use credit card rewards to fund a down payment. After the 2008 housing crisis, the government said, here's a set list of things you can use to fund a down payment. And wouldn't you know, they didn't include credit card rewards as something that you could use to fund the down payment on it. So let's talk about the mechanics of the program. Anybody can download the app. Again, there's no fees to participate in this. That's what creates the real value. Pay your rent, earn points, earn really valuable points, never pay a fee. Um, The landlords, if you live in the Built Rewards Alliance, which is what we call our 2 million uh, participating apartments, and then we're growing about 25,000 apartments uh, a month, your landlord will actually be encouraging you to resign or renew a lease with points. Um, And on top of that, what we have is the Built Rewards MasterCard. So going through it, if you live in the Built Rewards Alliance, which if you download the Built Rewards app, enter your address, we'll tell you, hey, Erica, you live in a related building in New York City. You can pay your rent from your checking account through our app and you'll earn a flat amount of points per month. And then eventually your apartment building will begin incentivizing you with uh, huge amounts of points again to renew a lease, to sign a lease. If you pay rent six months on time, hey, you you get bonus points. Sorry, you had a maintenance issue. Here's 5,000 points. Um, but for everybody else in the country who's not in the Built Rewards Alliance, as long as you're 21 years or older, you can apply for the Built Rewards MasterCard, a no annual fee MasterCard. You pay your rent on the MasterCard through the Built Rewards app in your phone, and we will mail your landlord a check anywhere in the country, again, for no fee. And you just have to tell your landlord, hey, this really official looking check is showing up, and you're going to earn points on it. 
or shortly we'll be able to pay your landlord via ACH. Some other things we've done to make sure that people don't get in debt is called Built Protect and Fee Protect. Essentially, you cannot revolve your rent payment on your credit card. So your, your rent will be included in the minimum payment due every single month. And then for people who do not have uh, the credit line to pay for uh, their rent, you have to pay via checking, but you'll start on points as well. So really excited that uh, we've given people the ability to uh, get their way into home ownership or travel. Again, seven airline partners, World of Pied as a hotel. Our transfer partners are not done yet. Um, and we're really excited about that. And then as far as the MasterCard goes, accepted anywhere MasterCard is, you earn 1x points on all purchases every month. And then you earn up to 2x points on your rent, depending on how much you use the card every single month. No fees, World Elite card that includes all the World Elite benefits like concierge, uh, Lyft credit, um, DoorDash credits, all, all kinds of really cool stuff that we have going on. There's no catch. <laughs> Eric, that's what everybody says. How in the world are you guys doing this and making money? Um, there's no catch. There's no fee. Uh, we operate like any other credit product where uh, we get merchant transaction fees every time you swipe that card. Uh, and we're just really excited about uh, the things that you can do with our points and then um, the path to home ownership. One other thing you do right now, 98% of landlords in the United States are not reporting on time rent payments to credit bureaus, which means every month you pay rent, your credit score is not seeing the benefits of that. We will be reporting your on-time rent every single month to the credit bureaus, which increases your credit score significantly, which means when it's time for you to buy a house, if that's what you want to do, you're going to qualify for a much better APR uh, on that mortgage, which is going to save you thousands over the course of the loan. And then you're going to have built points if you choose not to use them for travel or other redemptions to fund your down payment. So we have an entire path to home ownership. We're going to be able to tell you all kinds of cool things in the app based on your rent payment for the last five years, you qualify for this rate, you're pre-approved to buy this much house, go find a house, we've got you covered, and then use your points to cover a down payment. And we hope it really makes housing more affordable. We hope it increases people's credit scores. And then, oh, by the way, you can travel to some really cool places, which is my job here at Built, the Director of Travel Rewards, to make sure that people, if you want to fly somewhere, whether it's domestically to see mom, dad, grandmother, son, daughter, you can do that. Or if you want to fly business class over to Athens, in Greece and hang out with Matt, where I think he's been for like six months. It feels like watching him on social media. You can go hang out with Matt um, for free as well. Let's do a recap because that was a lot of information, but that's what's fun. I told you you were going to have homework. I really hope you had a pen and a paper. Portals and apps are great. Okay, just read the fine print on how these things uh, work and make sure you activate some offers like in your grocery store app before purchasing. It's going to seem overwhelming when you're just listening to this if it's your first time, but I promise once you download the app and you do it the first time, exponential learning curve, you figure it out real fast. It's not difficult and it is well worth your time when you start to see the number of, of levels that you can save and you start seeing that you have a portfolio now of places that you shop at anyways. Cashbackmonitor.com. Please write that website down. Before you shop anywhere online, Cashback Monitor will tell you if it is on a shopping portal and the maximum amount of cash or points that you can earn. Any store, anywhere, I promise you're going to go shop at some places online that you think are obscure and you're like, there's no way this is going to be on a shopping portal or points, but it's there. And Cashback Monitor will tell you where to go and shop. Experimentation is fun and rewarding. Create your own stacks. Let's say you're an introvert. Let's say you need a little Saturday off from the stimulation of the either virtual or in-person workplace and you want to have a little fun. Download a few of these apps. See if you can make a stack. Go to the store and try it out. And it's going to be fun because it just leads to more and more things. If that also sounds like the nerdiest, dorkiest thing in the world, I'm sorry. That's who I am as a person. You just have to accept me that way. But you should go and have fun, too, at the store uh, by creating your own stacks and making it happen. Last but not least, earn points on rent. Ladies and gents, you've never been able to do this before. Our points are incredibly valuable. Transfer seven airline programs that lets you book hundreds of different airlines through partners. Book free hotels at World of Hyatt. We're not done adding transfer partners. Increase your credit score. Literally, if you're a renter, it, there's no reason not to do this because it costs you nothing and you're getting nothing right now. You're going to have to pay rent. I think next week, Erica, <laughs> it's the first is here again. It's time uh -huh. to pay rent. Please go to builtrewards.com, sign up. Um, whether you live in our alliance or not, remember, we can mail you a check. Uh, we'll begin clearing the wait list that we have right now starting next week. We took a month to make sure that user experience after we launched was going to be what we were ready for. And now it's almost time to open the floodgates to all the uh, really huge demand that we've seen for this product. All right. That's a lot of info. Did anybody learn something? 
Eric, did you learn something? Is the mundane much more exciting now, <laughs> knowing that you should never pay full price um, for anything? Besides that, happy to take any questions, talk about anything you want, go over anything. Um, I think we have 28 minutes. And then after that, unfortunately, I have to build my consultant rate of 750 MX points a minute. So Eric, if you're willing to pay that, I'm happy to make it. <laughs> I feel like I feel an adrenaline rush right now with how much <laughs> I really, really want to start using every single app you just talked about. I'm like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Um, and I feel like I knew about some of that stuff and I don't use it properly. So now I'm very excited to go out. Can you just like sh show your hands if you learned something today, if you're excited about not paying full price. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have quite a few questions. Um, I want to just go over questions about the apps you talked about first. Um, we had a lot of questions about if these apps are only for Americans, or if you know, if there are like copy copies made for like Europeans and Canadians and things like that. Yeah. So Canadians, definitely. Yes. There are some great Canadian blogs and resources out there. Um, boardingarea.com and you can narrow it down by your Canadian bloggers who try and keep up on this stuff who will then lead you to other networks. As far as the rest of the world goes, unfortunately, I'm not very familiar um, with what is going on over in the European continent or Asian continent. So uh, most of the stuff I cover definitely U S centric, but uh, I know there are some things up in Canada at least. Mm -hmm. And do you know if a lot of them only work on iPhones or if they're also on Android for the most part? For the most part, vast majority are on Android. Um, okay. yeah. All right. Wonderful. And then just to reiterate, this was a question, but I feel like you definitely covered it. Um, so if you're using a points card, like you have a Chase card, you can use these apps to get more savings and more. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So you could stack it on top yeah, of each other. So this doesn't replace the credit card that you're using. Nope. This, we call it the art of the stack. Earn the chase points in addition to the cash back and then find whether stacks work from there. Amazing. And then that's Kimberly's question was just that, like a lot of places only allow you to use one kind of coupon for something, but this doesn't matter because it's all outside apps, right? Yeah, it's... it's several different programs independent of each other that don't talk to each other. Um, so I, like I showed you, there's six levels of savings on a single Kroger transaction and it works every time. Um, so, Amazing. yep. Amazing. Michelle's asking, um, what are some of your favorite airline shopping sites? She uses rapid rewards for Southwest, but what are some other good ones? Yeah. My favorite is the one that's always offering the most miles. But uh, the American Advantage e-shopping portal is great. The United Mileage Plus shopping, they're actually all run by the same company, which is why if you go to any of these, you'll see that they basically look the same. The thing to keep out for besides who's awarding the most is that they routinely have bonuses of like, hey, if you spend 500 bucks, we're going to give you a thousand extra bonuses or a thousand extra miles. So just make sure you check out, which will be on the homepage anybody that's offering bonuses. And, but besides that, um, every major airline has one. And uh, I just go to cashbackmonitor.com where it compares all of them in one screen for you, the store you want to shop at. And you figure out real quick who's uh, awarding the most miles. Amazing. And then Debbie had a clarifying question. So the store scans every app at checkout? No, right? You do no. that on your own. Yep. So the way it works is either the app will recognize that you use the credit card when you shopped or you will scan the receipt into the app. So the only thing the store does is use its own program, like in Kroger's case or whatever grocery store you shop at. You won't need to do anything except check out like regular. And then your apps will like give you immediate push notifications. Hey, we saw that you shopped at Kroger. Here's stock. Here's cash back or whatever. Here's stock. <laughs> Yeah, everybody use bump. Incredible, incredible. Um, and then Tori's asking, can you elaborate a little bit more about Cashback Monitor and how that works? Yeah, lovely gentleman uh, created the Cashback Monitor and he is essentially just an aggregator. So if you want to shop at, uh, I mean, I don't know, like where, Erica, where do you want to shop? Tell me a store. H&M. You know let's, just, let's, just, let's just show people this real quick. That's sure. probably the easiest way. Let's just do a quick screen share and show folks how this works. So this is Cashback Monitor that you see right here. Let's say that you want to go and shop at Best Buy. You'll just click Best Buy. And here are all the different portals that Best Buy or apps is on. It's broken up at the top, cashback, travel points, miles, credit card points, and then other reward points. 
And you can quickly see like, hey, do I want to earn 0.5 Delta Sky Miles per dollar? Probably not. I would rather earn 4% cash back. Do I want to earn one Chase Ultimate Reward point? Probably not. I'll take the 4% cash back because one point is not worth 4%. And very quickly, you know, and then you literally just click top cash back. It takes you here and then on to Best Buy. And that's it. You're off shopping and uh, you know who's offering the most cash back or points for that store. And are you aware if this works outside of the U.S.? I don't know. Um, I imagine if you're shopping through the portal and on the U.S. sites, it wouldn't like it should work. It, it, it shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't. OK, cool. MJ has a controversial question about wouldn't it be better to not go to McDonald's, Applebee's or any of these places that you're getting the cash back for and save that money for travel? <laughs> um, so I cannot remember the last time I went to an Applebee's or whatever the chain restaurants are. The whole thing is it makes you like just choose like, hey, here are the options. Do you eat more at Chili's or Applebee's? Like, I don't know, neither. So I'm just going to pick this one. <laughs> but but in the low, no, who pays cash for travel? This is what points and miles are for. So no is the answer to that question. Okay, good answer. Also, we have some questions about um, what about Amazon, Airbnb, and VRBO, like these popular travel purchases. Yeah. How do you usually stack those? Yeah, the holy grail, right? So the easiest way to save on Amazon, folks, number one is check and see if they're offering any specials for using points. So if you have any Amex points, if you have any Chase points, if you have a Discover card and you link it to Amazon, they routinely have promos that say, hey, if you pay with points, we're going to give you 40 to 50% off your purchase. Well, guess what? You can use one point and that still triggers the 40 to 50% off whatever you're buying. Doctorofcredit.com, bookmark that website. He always keeps it up to date with what's the, uh, the latest offers for Amazon. Now, again, you do have to have membership rewards or chase points and you're only going to use one point and it triggers the bonus. So that's the easiest and the largest way to save on Amazon. Besides that is picking up Amazon gift cards whenever you can at a grocery store with a credit card that earns four times points like an Amex Gold or picking up Amazon gift cards at a Staples with a credit card that gets 5X points. So at least then you're getting four or 5X points on your Amazon purchases. Besides that, Amazon's not on any of these portals or apps because nobody could afford it based on the volume that they do. Um, so if anybody else ever figures out a way to save on Amazon besides those two, you know, I'm definitely uh, all ears. Awesome. Uh, okay. And then Airbnb, VRBO. Um, Delta did have an agreement where it was like you earn three miles for every dollar or something like that. I don't know if it's still live, but you need to go check it out. And besides that, the same thing. Anywhere you can pick up discounted Verbo or Airbnb gift cards or where you can buy those gift cards uh, at a bonus on your credit card points is probably uh, the way to go. Now, let's say somebody is going to buy something and they just like don't know where to go. Would you just Google it? That's sort of how I do it, right? Like, how do I maximize these points or whatever? And usually the points guy or one of these awesome travel hackers that writes these detailed blog posts, you can usually read them and they're usually very up to date. Is that what you usually do or? Yeah. If there's something I've forgotten, because you can see how much information is out there. Um, yeah. The quick Google is the way to go to see the latest strategy. I know the points guy hundred percent has a guide up on maximize savings or returns on a vacation rental deal. Um, especially with Marriott vacations and villas. If you're not familiar with that program, everybody go check it out. There's actually an Amex offer for it right now. On top of that, you're an Amex point or Marriott points. On top of that, it counts towards Marriott elite status. So uh, if you are into the vacation rentals, would highly recommend checking out the Marriott vacations and villas. Cool. Okay. We have some questions on uh, the built rewards, and then we have some general travel hacking questions that I've been sure. prepping. Five um, bucks a question. Let's go. <laughs> Krista's asking, um, her building's not on built yet. So how can she pay through built? Yeah. If you do not live in the built rewards Alliance, um, you go builtrewards.com right now, sign up for our wait list, which will begin clearing next week. And then you'll become, you can apply for the built rewards MasterCard. Once you do that, you pay rent in the built rewards app with your MasterCard, and we will mail your landlord a check. It's, it's as simple as that. Pay your rent with the MasterCard in the Built Rewards app. We'll mail your landlord a check. They'll get it, and then you'll earn points, and rent will be paid. Awesome. And that doesn't matter if it's a person or a corporation, right? Like if you just have a landlord that owns one, one apartment. 
Yeah, it uh, it doesn't matter who the landlord is. It's uh, my sister. Um, we had a friends and family list that was able to get it uh, when we launched. My sister paid uh, the gentleman who owns two homes in the middle of Houston, Texas. And he was like, sweet, I got to check this rent. <laughs> and my sister's like, sweet, I got points. That's that's that easy. Amazing. And then we have a question. Can built rewards be used for mortgage payments? Uh, we've heard that question time and time again, every single day. Right now, we are just focusing on the rental market and the path to home ownership. However, I will tell everybody, we've heard the feedback loud and clear. Cool. Awesome. And then Jerry's asking, so I assume this is a no, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What about for co-op maintenance fees? Uh, it is anything that is included with your rent. So if your building includes the utilities and everything and basically says, this is what's due this month, then um, if it's a separate uh, transaction that's required, unfortunately, it'll just be the rent at that point. So it comes uh, in. Okay, great. And then Kimberly's asking, um, she's saying she's always very cautious about linking her accounts to things like this because of hackers. So how safe and secure is it to put all your info in there? Yeah. So I, I tell people a couple of things on this front. Number one is remember, if you ever get a fraudulent charge on your credit card, you're not responsible for it. Um, the credit card is, at least in my experience of over 10 years, always been great. And seeing it's a fraudulent charge and taking off your account, it is a headache. Second thing, though, is with these apps, they understand that if people have a security breach or a bad experience, that they're basically done as a business, which incentivizes them to be as secure as possible. There are all kinds of certifications and accepted ways to link these cards now, mainly through a program called Plaid, P-L-A-I-D, which is an industry recognized way to make this happen. Um, and I've never had any problems from a security standpoint or cards being hacked out of this uh, because of those two reasons. Uh, as long as I see that they're linking it through Plaid, which is what everybody does now, or another competitor of Plaid's, uh, it's a secure way to go. And then in the worst case scenario, remember, you're not um, going to be responsible for any fraudulent charges on your account. But uh, personally, again, my own personal experience, many years of using these apps, I've never, never had any problems. Okay, wonderful. And then... Is built only in the U.S. right now? We are only in the U.S. right now. Yep. Okay, cool. And then we have a question about when do rent checks go out? Like, how do you know if it's going to be on time? Yeah, so if you pay your rent before noon Eastern on a given day, the check will be mailed out the same day. We use USPS first class mail, which is between one and three days delivery time. Um, and then I would encourage people to give yourselves another couple of days of buffer time. If your rent is due on August 1st and you create the check on August 1st, there's not much we can do to help you out there. <laughs> you, <laughs> you need to plan in advance. Um, but through our first two rent cycles, we have seen checks to deliver between one and four business days anywhere in the U.S. So just plan accordingly for that. Yeah. What if your apartment building like Joel's uh, doesn't accept checks? It only accepts credit or debit. Um, yeah, so a couple things there. Um, one is maybe they're in the built rewards alliance where we pay them electronically anyways. And then second is very shortly, we will have the ability to get the ACH information from your landlord and we can pay them via ACH. We don't have that capability right now, but within the next six to seven weeks, we'll be able to pay them electronically as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, a check. Okay, wonderful. Um, and we have a question saying... I don't know if you want to share this, but built if built isn't asking for fees, how are they actually making money? Yeah, we also have gotten this question uh, quite a bit. So we have three main streams of revenue. Number one, remember the landlords will be issuing built points out, which means that uh, we are essentially issuing built points to landlords in exchange for a fee. So the landlords themselves, uh, who have never had a retention or loyalty program before, are funding the program. Second part of that is we have a MasterCard that's accepted anywhere MasterCard is uh, taken, which is you know basically everywhere. And just like every other credit card company, there's merchant transaction fees. Two to 3% of that transaction is paid to MasterCard. So we want you to use your MasterCard as much as possible, and we get those fees um, from that. And then the third way is we will eventually be in the mortgage business. Remember, we are making the path to home ownership as easy as possible. And the mortgage origination business, the people like Rocket Miles, Quicken Loans, who make billions of dollars a year are in the mortgage origination business. And our mortgage business will be the third mainstream 
um, of funding. Now, the good news is none of that impacts you as a customer, and it really is no annual fees for the program or for the card to participate. Please don't just pay rent and get nothing. Please pay rent and get points in return. Love that. Okay, wonderful. Um, we have a few questions about travel hacking in general. Um, this one is for Chase Sapphire. Do, does purchasing gift cards count towards the sign-up bonus? So I'll tell you, yes, it does. Right now, Chase does not get what we call level three transaction data from merchants, which means they don't see what you buy. However, I will tell you that you need to proceed at your own risk because that could change at any time. And Chase has a very distinct algorithm at recognizing unusual spending patterns. And if you get flagged for this and they take a look at your account, you could end up on the wrong side of a shutdown. So in general, yes, buying uh, gift cards for Chase does count towards the sign-up bonus and the minimum spend. But uh, you need to recognize that uh, if you go and buy $5,000 of gift cards, the first day you have the card, you might trigger a fraud alert, which gets some eyeballs on your account. And you just need to be a smart consumer um, and, and kind of recognize the risks that's there. Okay, wonderful. Am's asking, how often do you cancel credit cards in anticipation of signing up for a new card to get the bonus? So again, as you can probably tell, points miles loyalty is my life. So I am uh, at the very deepest, darkest levels of the rabbit hole that you can possibly be to the point where all my credit cards at home are in a baseball card album that contains no baseball cards and just credit cards. Uh, and then the same for my wife as well. So uh, what I'll tell you is that I have over 30 credit cards right now uh, in our household. And it really just depends on what's coming up next. It depends on a whole lot of things. Where am I trying to go next? What points of miles maybe am I short on? What ridiculous deal is out there? What annual fees do I need to get rid of right now? What retention bonuses can I get before I need to close an annual fee? The overarching guidance here is number one, you have to be organized. You cannot lose track of these things and get yourself in trouble. Um, and then number two, really before you jump in that rabbit hole, make sure you go and read all the resources that are out there. Make sure that you can do this without increasing your spin. Make sure you can do this without getting yourself in financial trouble. Um, and then you can start to kind of make a strategy on how you know often you wanna open um, and close cards. <laughs> just be oh, responsible Richard. be responsible folks okay right I, i'm i'm on a different level that many people don't need to be I, the last thing we want is people to go in debt in the pursuit of credit card points and miles um so just please proceed carefully and stay organized yeah i mean but also think about where you started you yeah. know you started as somebody that knew nothing about this so you guys stay inspired. I know Richard sounds like a, a computer right now, spitting out a lot of stuff, but he started not knowing anything and paying $3,000 to fly home. So never doing that again. Where there's a will, there's a way and you can learn it. Like you said, there's a really nice learning curve. Um, uh, Kathy is wondering, she said she read online that you can buy a car with a credit card, but every dealer says it's no. probably my article. <laughs> oh, but every yeah, dealer says no. So how does she find someone um, that does? The right dealer. Oh, I feel like I might have froze. Richard? Oh no. Hello? Am I back? I'm still frozen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I was able to buy uh, a, an entire car on my Amex Platinum card uh, about five years ago, but it was just because I got very lucky with the dealer. American Express actually does have a car program where they've gone through and found dealers that will accept typically up to $5,000 of the car. The other thing I tell people is if you can't get lucky with the dealer, that um, you just go straight into um, one of two ways. Negotiations up front says, I, I want to put the entire car on a credit card. And they'll either say it's not going to happen and you know to move on or you negotiate a cash price. And then at the very end, you say, OK, here's my card. I'm going to put it on there. And then you let the finance manager figure out how he or she is going to deal with that. Uh, and may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> the, there's a couple of problems that uh, car dealers don't want to do this. Number one is they do have to pay the transaction fee on top of that. Three percent of a car purchase can be quite sizable. The second thing that they're afraid of, believe it or not, is actually a chargeback. Somebody going and saying, oh, this car isn't what I wanted. The dealer won't return it. I'm um, making a claim uh, for 
uh, what either return protection or good not delivered as described. And if Amex finds in favor of the card holder, then the dealership has to eat the cost of that card. So uh, dealerships, that's the last thing that they want to deal with. Now it's a lot more complicated and involved in that, but it's something that can happen. So you just got to get lucky and find that right dealer that uh, will be willing to let you buy a, a car with a credit card. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have three questions. So I'm just going to finish it off on these three questions. The first is what kind of rewards are offered with the built card? I know you sort of sped through that, but can you speed yeah. through it again? <laughs> four, four main buckets of rewards. Number one, down payment on a home points will be worth up to 1.5 cents each to cover the down payment on, on a future home purchase. Second is our collection, which is uh, we've actually gone out and commissioned a couple artists to come up with conversations and home pieces of home decor. Like if you need that sparkling gold champagne saver, Bill Points can get it to you for free. <laughs> the third is fitness. So in cities with Soul Cycle, Rumble Boxing, or Y7 Hot Yoga, you can redeem Bill Points for free classes at those fitness providers. And then obviously what I'm here for is the travel. So seven airline partners that transfer one to one to their program American Airlines, Emirates, Turkish, Virgin, uh, Flying Blue, and Hawaiian Airlines, um, and then uh, did I say six or seven? I'm not sure. Download the Built Rewards app. <laughs> we'll have it there um, to make it happen. Uh, some really incredible sweet spots in there. Turkish, you can fly United to Hawaii for 7,500 points. That's nothing. American Airlines, obviously, really easy to fly domestic and international. Hawaiian Airlines, I mean, there's just great uses of these points. And then World of Hyatt, so you can transfer to what are the most valuable hotel points in existence, staying in the Hyatt starting at 5,000 points. So if you get 2x points on rent, and actually we have a sign-up bonus right now, 3x points on your first month's rent, and then 2x points on all spend everywhere else the MasterCard's accepted. Um, you know, if you got a $2,000 rent, that's 6,000 points in rent in the first month. You spend $2,000, that's 4,000, so that's 10,000 points in the first month. That's either two free nights in a Hyatt or it's a free one-way flight to Hawaii on United Airlines. So very valuable points that can make you travel the world. Um, so I encourage everybody, at least give us a look. And as always, if you got any questions, cur points on social, send me a DM and I will probably respond. Erica, <laughs> it will contain a terrible dad joke. So you have to put up with that, but then I'll answer your question, whatever it is. <laughs> Oh, okay. The <laughs> second to last question. Does a landlord have to pay something if you use built, your built card or a built check? Nope. Your landlord will just get a check from built MasterCard instead of from you. And they cash it the same. There's no, no fees whatsoever for the landlord that accepts our check or here in a couple months, ACH. So okay. Yeah, I know everybody's skeptical. I'm the most skeptical person in the world, but there is no catch. There are no fees. Earn points on rent and go travel. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Um, and then the last question is from a few people. How much time do you spend, Richard, managing this and your 30 cards and your baseball portfolio of credit cards? Yeah, this is my life, ladies and gents. I mean, this is what I do for a living. This is what I love to do for a living. It's what I've done. So my system is down. I have a spreadsheet where all balances are updated every couple of days. I can fly through my logins um, and check and update it. It's obviously got alerts set up for when payments are due. Once you have your system set up, it's not that labor intensive. I mean, it's just getting to the point where you have that organization and system set up. Um, if everybody here does not use awardwallet.com, download that app and use it. It tracks all of your programs in one place. It keeps all of your passwords there safe and secure. Here, you don't have to remember the passwords to the 120 multi programs I track on a monthly basis. Um, but in my little handy dandy spreadsheets, um, it's actually not that bad. But again, this is my life. <laughs> Incredible. I'm going to drop in your contact details and you guys. Thank you so much for being here, Richard. This has been, I feel like you speak the fastest out of all of our speakers that we've ever had on here. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little excited and try to go through all the information. I know it's a lot. I know Erica has a recording of this. If you didn't get all the notes and everything, please go through and watch it again. And then as always, please um, send me a DM on Instagram. It's probably the easiest way to get in touch with me. 
Yes, fascinating. If you learn something, can you just drop into the chat before you leave what you learned or what you're most excited about um, in travel hacking and earning points and playing this game that's called I'm not paying full price anymore. Um, I am going to share my screen once again very quickly uh, just to give you some updates. I know quite a few of you said that this is your first event. So I just want to let you know how you could come to more the nomadic mat, uh, sorry, the nomadic network.com slash events. We have a ton of events coming up. Um, really cool ones. If you're interested in finding cheap flights that are cash based, not point space, we have Scott from Scott's cheap flights um, next Wednesday coming on to talk about his new book. And that's what that's all about. Um, also, yeah, here you go. We have a book club uh, the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, we have this one for August and for October. And we just announced that we're having Mark Adams for Turn Right at Machu Picchu um, in September. So that's our book club. It's really cool. The authors come. It's live. And also, I'd like to invite you again to Nomadic Map Plus, our community of travel enthusiasts. Um, if you become a part of the Nomadic Map Plus program, we have, again, all of the TNN replays. We also just started monthly giveaways, which are like just free travel related things that you can win just by being a part of our program. Um, we also give you free signed books, guides, t-shirts, never before seen photos, access to our courses and access to Nomadic Mat. So it's a really great place to be. And we love when people join. So please uh, visit that. And I would just like to thank you like lastly for being a part of our travel community it's so much fun we had such a huge group so many amazing questions and i really feel like you know we're we're really trying to bring you resources that will make a difference so that you can travel more so this was definitely one of those talks that i feel like you can walk away and at least download one app you know and start traveling more, earning more, saving more. And hopefully you'll get into this deep, dark rabbit hole that Richard has buried himself into. Um, and you'll be one of those people that's flying first class for free everywhere in the world and his family. So um, Richard, thank you so much for being here. It was an absolute pleasure. Do you have anything you want to say before signing off? People that said they're dizzy and they need Dramamine, you guys are killing me. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> no, builtrewards.com to check us out. Follow me uh, on uh, all social channels at Kerr Points. Happy to time. I come from a, a background of community management here in the points world. So uh, I love more than talking points a mile. Right as I froze up again. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We got your sentiments. You're amazing. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Bye, everyone. Have Thanks. a